Hello, first grade. Happy Wednesday. Make sure you are doing the back side of yesterday's packet, page 136. Again, about a butterfly. And I know last year when you had actual butterflies in your classroom, you learned about the life cycle of a butterfly. You know, they started as an egg and then they hatch and turn to a caterpillar. And then when they eat lots of leaves, that's how they grow. And then they'll turn into a chrysalis. Now, a cocoon would be a moth. But you remember from last year that if it's a butterfly, it's a chrysalis. And then you know that it's going to hatch out of the chrysalis. Isn't that amazing how God made it to start as an egg? And then it doesn't even look like it did once it's an adult. So your story today says, butterflies lay their eggs on leaves. Caterpillars hatch from the eggs. The caterpillar eats and grows. Then he lies still for a long time and awakes a lovely butterfly. And here you have the stages on your paper as well. And just remember to have capitals and periods since they are complete sentences. Then on your letters and sounds, we don't have new sounds to learn today, pretty easy. You are just going to underline the root word and circle the prefix like the first one. So when we have a uh, in asleep uh, and like, it makes a uh, like. Now on this one, be careful, like we've talked about, maybe underline the root word first, most, then go back and circle the A-L so you, it's, no, it's not just an A, not a uh, in a sleep, almost uh, isn't a word, it's all most, so all in also, all most. And then here we'll um, underline the root word and circle the prefix, B, and then when someone's behind you in line, behind, and then fold is the root word. And then if you want to undo it, unfold. That's one of your rows. You can do a couple more rows. You don't have to circle all the special sounds, just the prefixes. And then I know you like these word searches. They've already started a couple for you going across corn cob. And they have the red letters to tell you where to start. Get like they've done, check it off once you finish. They might be going down. It tells you back which ones are going across, which ones are going down for these compound words. And then on your language paper, we are learning something new today. It says a contraction is a short way of saying two words. So we use an apostrophe, that's what these are, to show where letters have been left out. So not like a compound word, those kind of words, we're gonna be putting them together. This time we're leaving out a vowel and putting an apostrophe in its place. So let's match, for example, didn't, was made of the words did not. And you'll notice Mrs. Olson here crossed out the O's just to show you how we get didn't. We're gonna cross out that O, put an apostrophe in its place, and put them together here, and then just say didn't. It's an easy way to say did not. Isn't, you can tell used to be the words is not. Don't used to be do not and couldn't was made up of could not, and hasn't was made up of the words has not. So it's just a faster way to say it. Instead of saying, I did not do that, we would just say, I didn't do that. This is the faster way to say that. Then on the bottom it says to list four things your mother or father does for you. And right now I think both of them are helping you with your schoolwork. So this doesn't have to be complete sentences, actually it says list. So, I've given you some examples. You can either use my examples, or you can think of several other things. I know moms and dads do a lot for us, especially these days. So you could say help with school, uh, cook for me. Um, unless you want Miss Olson to come cook for you, she's a good cook, isn't she? Well, fine, okay. Or they read with me, and then probably the most important thing they're doing right now is when they teach you about God. So again, these are just examples. If you can think of other things, maybe they play with you, um, ride bikes with you, whatever you'd like to say. So I know we just talked about Mother's Day not too long ago and Father's Day is coming up. So it's a time to be honoring our moms and dads. And I want you to think of things that they do for you. All right, have a great day.